Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about read of file operation of FTP adapter. Why we are using read of file operation, what kind of operation we can perform, what's the limitation, everything we will learn in this video. Let's begin. Before going to start, I request you to, if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. So let's first discuss about the test cases. Of. So suppose we have a data file over SFTP server and we have to consume the data file in Oracle integration. While consuming the data file from a server SFTP to integration, we need to read the data of that file and let me print the data file in the log messages. So how we can achieve that one? So here as you can see, we have already discussed data file which is less than 100 MB and present over server, we can directly read that specific data file. And in case of the data file size having more than 100 MB, we cannot directly read the file. In that case, we will get error. So how we can achieve the solution for that? Everything we will discuss in this video. So first I will create integration where I'll, I will tell you how we can read data file from server. Then when we will get error, I will explain you what's the reason behind error and how we can solve the error. So let's begin to the integration part. Here we have created integration. We have to create integration for creating the integration. We need to move to the integration part. Before going to create the integration, let me show you the server. So this is our FTP server and here we have already placed data file. You can see we have the first data file size having 9.42 MB. That's perfectly fine. We can read. And another data file having the 17.6 MB. It's also perfectly fine. We can read the data directly and the last we have data file as more than 100 MB that is 117 MB and it will create problem while reading. So everything we will learn. So this is the data file. Let me show you the data file. So here you can see the same data file I have here. So once you will click here, you can see this is the data we have present in the data file. All this data we are going to read in integration and in integration we will get count everything we will we will see. So let's begin. So when we will create integration, in the integration, we will pass these two values as a request payload, that the file name and directory. So whatever file name we will pass, that file name we will read from server in Oracle integration. And for the specific directory, we will also pass from the request payload. And in response, what we want? In response, we want the status as success and error, file name, what kind of file name we read, and the total record count inside the file. So everything we will get here in the response. And in the integration only, we will add logger to print the some column of the data file. So let's let's begin to the integration part. So here for creating the integration, we need to click on create button and we will select application as we are going to add the request and the response payload. So here I will choose that to give the name xx ftp read a file integration. Click on create. Once we will click on create, it will open the integration. As we know that whenever we are creating integration, after when integration or application integration, we don't have any endpoint here. We have to ask, we have to add the endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload. So let me add the rest endpoint so that I can configure request and response payload and expose this integration as a REST API. So here I will give the name as a start REST. Next, I will give the URI parameter as read a file and select method as post. Why we are going to select post so that we can configure request and response payload. Just click on next and here we have to select the schema. So this is the request payload schema. So I have already created sample request payload. I will copy here. You all or you already now aware about that. So here I will select provide the details. It will automatically select the JSON format here. You can see. Now we have to go for next and here we have to provide the response payload. So I have already made a response payload here. I will just copy this response payload and select the JSON schema and will inline we will provide these details. Click on OK. So as we are getting error because we have invalid structure. So you can see we skip forget to mention the comma here. So just I will copy again and I will paste go below. OK. You can see it's accepted. Automatically select the JSON go next and done. So we are successfully able to arrest endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload. Now it's time to add the FTP endpoint to read the data from server. So I will add the FTP connection I have already created. So now I will drag here. I will give the name as read FTP, read underscore FTP. Now next and here we'll select read a file operation. 
I don't want to change the mode of that transfer that ASCII to binary anything. I will give provide the name of directory and the file name. As you can say, we can provide the file direct name, file name and the directory in the while configuring the FTP endpoint. But we know that file name and directory we are getting as a request payload. We don't have hard coded value. So we cannot map request payload value here. But the same thing we can map in the provide in the mapping. So Oracle provide this facility in FTP endpoint that we can provide the value input directory and the file name in the mapping only. If we will not provide here and we can provide the mapping. So whatever value we will have in the mapping that will reflect, right? So go next. As we are going to reach CSV files, that's why we have to provide the CSV schema. So I selected CSV here, go next. And here you can see this is our data file, but I have already created a sample of the data file that gross domestic product sample file. Once I will click here, you can see this data file having the, all the columns, whatever columns we have in actual data file. And this is the dummy value. So I will upload this file in the integration page for configuring the FTP endpoint. So just click here and here you can see gross domestic product sample file. I will select, you can see once we selected all the column here, it's visible here, right? You can see last column is series title three and this is our data file 2021. And in the data file also, you can see the last column is series title three. So we are done with configuring the endpoint here. We have to provide the values for and point, let me expand this one. We have to provide the value for the record and record set name. So I will use REC for record and REC as set for record set. It's mandatory to provide. And I don't, as we, our data file having the comma separated value, that's why it's comma selected as we uploaded the file. I don't want to change anything here. Just go next. And done. We successfully added the endpoint, added the endpoint to get the data file from server. Now this data, whatever operation we can perform, we want to perform, we can perform using response of this read FTP endpoint. If, if we need to get the count of total record from this file, we can create one variable. You can say, let me create one variable for the count. Give the name as var underscore count. And what value we want to provide in the count. So we want to provide the value as count. We have count function, which is going to return back you the count of endpoint. You can see this is the read underscore FTP. This is the request and we want to go for response. So once you will expand here, you can see sync read file response. Once you will expand that, you can see re file read response. Inside that, you can see we have the endpoint record set. Inside the record set, you can see we have the records. So here, equals the point header, we have the file name and the directory. So I, we have to map right now, I didn't map. So here you can see this is the record we will get from the file. So whenever we will read the file, the, you can see these all are the column. And this is the array of that, all the columns. I want to get a count of this array. So I will drag this count record here. So inside the count function, I will pass this record set, this one a record, RF, array one and it will return back the count of the total record inside this record set. So here we will give the name of this and want as get count underscore assign done. I will click outside. So you can see our assign and point configure and it will get the count of total record. And if we want to here, let me first map the value for this red FTP. So here we have to provide the mapping for the file name and the name directory. You can see this is the file name and directory for the F file read request, which is read underscore FTP endpoint and the request part. So here we have the file name from the request payload. So I will map this file name here, file directory from request payload map there, validate and back. So everything is done. We will get the data file from server in the read mode and whatever data we have, we will get the count of that record. And in the response, we can map the count. So even if we, if we want to print the log message of that count, we need to add the loop in this file. So for adding the loop, what we will do, we, we, we need to add the for each. So here we have for each. I will drag this for each here. And in the for each, we have to provide the repeating element. So where is the re repeating element? So we have repeating element in the read FTP again for which we have find the count. So we'll expand here in the record set. You can see we have the repeating element as record. So I will drag this repeating element here and here we have to provide the variable name. So I will give the name 
for each for each underscore loop var. This is our var name. So now I will just click outside so that it will be configured. So now you can see loop is configured, and here we have to provide the sorry. Uh, loop is configured where here we have to provide the whatever operation we want to perform on the loop. So let me first edit again check everything is fine. Yes, we have everything is fine. So I want to print the log message and in the log message, I just want to print only two values. For example, the value what we want to print, we want to print serial number, serial reference and the period, this three value only. Okay, so let me add the logger. So here we have the logger. I will drag this logger inside the for each loop. Uh, yes, logger. And in the logger, we will print the message. So I will select as always. And what message we want to print? So I will use concat method, concat method to print the value. So what is the first column? Serial number. I will print S L N O. And where is the serial number? We have the loop variable it's for each loop variable. So I will expand this one. This is the serial number. Serial number. After that, what we want to print? We want to print serial number iPhone. We want to print next column serial reference series reference. So I will print S E R I E S series R E F E R E N C reference. Then after we have to provide the value for series reference, I will drag here. Now again I will use concrete to print the period P e R I -E, period. And here again we have to map the period. So now everything is done. If you will see what it will print, it will print something like hard coded value serial number and that value coming from data file. Again, series reference coming from data file and all. So now everything is done. We will just go back. Instead of logger, we will print RDC or the record logger. Done. We'll come outside so that this endpoint will remove. Now you can see our error for the for each is removed because we don't have any endpoint inside the for each earlier everything is done we get the count here now it's time to map the response of integration so here i will go for mapping the response in the response report you can see a status so now i will select a status as success so this is not the logic for success and error i just hard coded the hard coded the value i will create another videos where i will show you how to configure the status as success and error based on the validation file name file name we will get from the request payload also or from the read file response also so i will select the read file response one in the file response here we have file name i will map and the total record count i have already make a count of the total record in the variables so i will map this variable here so everything is done validated and go back integration completed successfully but we have one error we know that every time whenever we are creating integration we are getting one error related to adding the tracking variable or business identifier so by clicking on this icon we can Add the tracing variable. So I will select the file name as a tracing variable. Click outside. You can see error is resolved now. Save again. It will be in configured status. Now it's ready to activate. So here you can see it's configured. Now it's time to activate. So I will activate this integration in debugging mode so that we can see the log messages, everything. Now it will take a bit of time to activate. So once it has activated, we will be able to run. So now activate, we will go and run. So here you can see in the body request payload we have to provide the file directory and the file name so i will get the file directory this is a file directory i will copy this file directory here and the file name this is the first file name i will copy this one make a copy and i will paste here so now everything fine i will just click on run so whenever we click on run it will process the data process the integration whatever we have done and return back response so as we have large number of data, it will take a little bit of time. So let me see how much data we have for product domestic product 2021. We have total number of record. Let me count total number of record. We have one four one eight one fourteen thousand one hundred eighty one record. We have let me see the integration. So once integration will be completed, it will also see the so result as the same. Now you can see integration completed successfully as there was much data. That's why it's taking much time. And here you can see we are in response. We have success file name. You can see gross domestic product 2021.csv and the total record we have 40,181. That is the total number of record we have in the data file. Here you can see. And if you will see the log message, so let me refresh here so that I can show you the log message. In the log message, you can see whatever logger we added, we can see the logger. 
Here you can see we invoke the read FTP and while invoking we pass some data. So if you will see this is the request payload. In the while calling the FTP endpoint we pass the file name and the directory as in the mapping only and in response we got the data. So once I will explain here. So as that is much larger data it's not showing here in the log message. So you can see the payload is too large to be displayed. Please click the download. Please download play payload. Payload content type application XML payload size 15 MB. And here you can see we added the for each loop and iteration of the for each loop you can see 14,181. As we have more than uh, we have 14,000 record, that's why iteration is this one and it's showing only 10,000 record as per the logger details and all. So once we will expand here the loop for each loop, you can see the iteration, complete iteration. And if I will show you the iteration one. You can see in iteration one what we have done we added the logger and here you can see what logger we added you can see message received by for each so in first iteration what is received it received the first record and you can see this is our first record serial number one you can see this is our first record as serial number one serial reference b15 serial reference b15 period 1972.03 1972.03 on all the values you can see this is the same and in the log message what we have printed in log message we printed serial number series reference and the period so instead of printing the log message we can insert this data into ATP table or we can create another file with data that various operation we can perform when we can pass this data to any third party application or rest services or soap services so that kind of operation we can perform if I will iterate the 1626th record if you will see the log message of the 26th record, you can see we have the serial number 26 type all this value and again in the log message we will have the same. So this is the way we can we can read the data file from server. If we will pass the data file size which is having more than 100 MB as we know that FTP read file does not allow to read a file which is having 100 and it will generate an error so let me show you how you can see that so here you can see the data file having 2000 name as 2003 having the size is 117 mb if i will pass this size to integration it will generate an error so what error it will generate let me show you so it will generate error that the data file size having more than 500 MB that is the threshold and we can not read you can see it's generating the error and error you can see here invoking the read FTP and while invoking the read FTP we got error once you will click here you can see the error details that you error while translating message to native format please make sure that payload for outbound and inter interaction confirm to the schema and payload size does not exceed threshold error occurred as a file said exceed maximum threshold of this one. So as I told you that our data file size having more than 100 MB and FTP adapter cannot read data which having the more than 100 MB. How we can resolve everything we will learn in next video. So while resolving that issue we have download file operation we will first download the data file from server to oracle integration then we have read file operation in integration with the help of that we can read the data. So let me show the, the same in next videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment on that. Thank you so much again.